We're going to talk some Pirate Baseball right now with a former Pirate outfielder and uh, one of our all-time favorites, us and you folks listening. He is Big Hoove, Lane Hoover, joining us on the program. Lane, how you doing, buddy? Cliff, what's up, man? I'm doing good. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Thank you for your time, Lane. Uh, we miss you, but I tell you what, the way the Pirates are playing and the way Riley Johnson and uh, these guys are playing in the outfield, it, it helps to to ease the blow of uh, number four, Lane Hoover, not being there anymore. But how about this team and the run they're on right now, Lane? You get to watch it as a fan and as a proud uh, former teammate of these guys and, and a, a once a Pirate, always a Pirate. you got to be proud watching these guys play. Man, absolutely. You know, when you – we see it from the other side. It's like, wow, you know, it is. It's, it's pretty incredible um, to see what they're doing right now, and um, I believe that they're going to keep it up. I really do. Great weekend, uh, just hitting the cover off the ball at Memphis, and and I was and, and shame on me, I guess, Lane, but I was a little worried coming off the state win. Would there be a letdown? You go on the road, sleepy environment, and and you know, would there be any kind of letdown? No. Pirates scored fourteen runs Friday and Saturday, so you could speak to that, Lane, and the way this team can can kind of celebrate a a win if they need to but quickly move on and also get over a loss and quickly move on that is uh that's kind of put into your your dna when you're a pirate right and uh, i think they showed that this weekend yep yep you're right i believe it's you know it's always you know what's next you know what's what's the next game you know and you even look at them in their um you know like carter cunningham's you know post game interviews you see guys like that um and they they talk about how, you know, how big is this? How much does the win mean to you? I mean, you know, it means a lot, but, you know, it's a win and we're going to enjoy it tonight. But, you know, tomorrow or the next day, we're going to turn around and be focused on um, practice that day or, um, you know, if there's another game, you know, they're always looking, you know, at that next step. And, you know, that that's what um, makes them successful. Hoove, I said last week that I guess the definition to me anyway of an MVP is if you took this guy off the team, it would hurt the team the most. And early in the week, I was saying uh, Riley Johnson is, is this team's MVP for what he does setting the table offensively, for the amazing ground he covers in the outfield. And you hear the coaches talk about him. He 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 is the embodiment of the Pirate, uh, a lot like they used to talk about you, Lane. So he's got all those traits, but Dang, if Carter Cunningham ain't close, and then you got JC, and then you got the Starling coming back, and then Wilcox. Like, there are so many uh, stars and MVPs on this team. It's hard to name one, but you mentioned Cunningham there, and uh, he was the AAC Player of the Week. How about what he's done hitting the ball this year? Really re- reminds me of a Packard and uh, maybe a Francisco, the way they hit the all fields. And, and Carter hits for power as well, but how about the, the player he has turned into, Lane? I know you, you watched him grow along the way. Absolutely, man. You talk about you know, who's the MVP of the team, and like you said, you know, there's <laughs> there's a handful, you know, you can't really, can't really, it's hard to pick out one, but, yeah, Carter specifically, man, you know, he was, you know, he was born to be a leader, and, you know, I watched him grow, you know, as I was there, and he, I mean, he just, he knows what to say, and he knows how to lead the, lead the team, and um, it's just good to see, and even seeing his success, um, is even better, um, and what what a guy he is that you know, um, helping you know helping the you know helping the hospital, um, every yeah. his home run. You know, I mean that's just awesome, and that's the, that's the type of guy he is. And um, you know, he's not only doing you know great things on the field, but off the field as well homers that help and the pirates are certainly helping with the way they're hitting the ball out of the ballpark right now who uh, if we gave you the if it was the lane hoover award it'd be for toughness it'd be for the grit and, and all that and playing when you're hurt and then doing all those things and riley johnson uh certainly encompasses all of that he, he's probably going through stuff we don't even know about but he has had uh, some injuries in the past and how about watching him uh play in the outfield who <laughs> that's got that's got to pump you up yeah, I mean, it, it, it reminds me, it does remind me of myself, but with a little bit more pop now. <laughs> but um, I, actually, I actually texted him, um, you know, before the William and Mary, William and Mary game, um, and he, uh, he had, you know, his, his grandfather had passed, and 
literally his next AB, um, well, his first AB after his grandfather passed, um, he had a home run. Hmm. And, um, it, you know, it had me thinking, I was like, my first AB after, you know, my grandfather passed, um, you know, I hit a home run. Yeah. Like, wow. You know, it's just, um, it's just crazy how, you know, God works. And, you know, I text him, I was like, man, I'm proud of you for, you know, for a lot of things, but, you know, when when you're battling, you know, injuries like this and stuff like that, like it's not it's not an easy thing to do. And then, I mean, it's just it's just cool to see. And man, you know, I watched him grow, and um, I've taught him, you know, I've taught him some things. But you know, he's just he's just a good guy. He's funny. <laughs> um, it makes me laugh just thinking about me, me and his talks we had between me and him. But um. Yeah, dude, he's just just a warrior, man. Lane Hoover joining us, Pirate Radio Live Line. Lane, one thing about Cliff Godwin, at least from the outside, uh, I, he seems pretty consistent. So uh, how is his temperament when East Carolina has is, is got all these wins in a row and they're number five in the nation compared to maybe coming off some losses? Does, does he pretty much try to keep things even keel one way or the other you can't really tell too much how the team's doing with the way he talks to you guys what's uh what's kind of his message to the team right now as good as they're playing and heading down this final stretch here yeah i mean i was gonna say that about you know the, i think the two biggest things that um that i've seen that's made this team you know the way they're going right now is one when they're down you know, when they're down, which ain't much <laughs> this year, but when right. they're down, they're even keel. Like you said, they're even keel. And um, they do that because, you know, you know, whoever the leader, and that, you know, that's Coach G, um, the man, <laughs> he, he's even keel when we're down. So, you know, the, you know, the team's going to be even, even keel. And um, I don't know, it just gives you, it just gives you confidence when um, knowing that you're down and, you know, you, You've been, you, it's like you've been there before, and um, you know, he's just, he just, he's just a great coach. And um, another thing that I was going to talk about was, you know, the two out hitting. I mean, <laughs> we all, we all see it, but like, you know, I don't want to give a, a lot away, but we always have an approach, and um, when you stick to the approach, man, like, it, it works. And so that's what, that's what's been really awesome to see. And, um, you know, I just, I, I can't wait to see what, what happens. Yeah, I wanted to ask you about that, Lane, and you kind of answered it. So that is not uh, coincidence or getting lucky. That is, uh, that's hard work and, and by design, the, the two out hitting. And you mentioned the word approach. Uh, you guys kind of plan for these things and get right, not only mechanically, but also mentally in those situations. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, you, we talk about it a lot. Um, well, when I was there, you know, you just gotta, you know, expect unexpected and, um, you know, when, when stuff don't go your way, you know, there's, there's nothing you can do about it, but worry about the next pitch, you know, and, um, that's what always has always been preached. And, um, as you can tell now it's, you know, it's working. That it is. Pirates are playing great. Can you believe uh, fifth in the country, Lane? I mean, you, you guys had a ton of success when you were here. Won big games, went to regionals, super regionals. But, man, seeing that number five beside East Carolina, it's awesome. Yeah, man, it sure is. But I know that ain't their goal. Right. Um, they're they're going to keep climbing. I believe it. Yeah, uh, man, and uh, they they still got a lot to play for this season, trying to win that AAC regular season, which uh, the Pirates are back in first ahead of UTSA. Uh, They'll go down to Clearwater, try to win that tournament, and then see what unfolds for the postseason. And, uh, boy, Lane, postseason baseball has become synonymous with East Carolina and the crowds we get. How many uh, games have you been able to go to this year? You know, due to to work, ain't really been to – you know, many, many, but um, I've been to Wichita State Series and the Clark Leclerc Classic okay. Series. Um, both both great, um, great series. And, you know, Wichita State, I mean, <laughs> you talk about being down. I mean, being down 7 nothing after the first in um, and come back winning and you win by eight runs. <laughs> uh, I, mean, that's, I mean, that's crazy. But, um, 
I, I plan on being there this weekend, um, which is good. But, I mean, I just, you know, I, I tune in every game. And it's just, you know, I have all the confidence in the world because, you know, I know all these guys and I know, you know, how they compete and, and you know, who they are. And, I mean, it's, it's just it's just really cool to see. Uh, Lane, did you watch from the jungle, and uh, did you get you a beer? How did you uh, watch the game for the first time? <laughs> well, yeah, that's what I, – I, I walked around. I really walked around, you know, talking to everybody. I sat in the stands for a little bit, you know, walked to the, back to the jungle a little bit, and then walked um, – um, stood at the um, alumni, alumni on the first base side. I stood over there for a little bit. So I kind of I just, you know, made my rounds and you know, <laughs> That reminds me, Lane. I remember I texted you because I saw you from the uh, the press box, and you were walking, and I saw your head. You were rubbernecking because everybody kept saying your name. So you were the uh, the mayor of Clark Leclerc that day. Hey, always always here for the for the people. <laughs> <laughs> Man of the people, Lane Hoover, fan favorite, uh, past and present, no doubt about that. Um, well, Lane, uh, moving forward, we, we talked about it. Still a lot to go as far as goals and, and winning this season. We hadn't talked much about the pitching, so let's uh, let's talk a little bit about that. First of all, Trey is savage. We were talking about ECU goats since 2000, and we named a few pitchers, including Seth Manis and, and Burley, who was a two-way guy, Gavin and what he did here. But Trey is still to be determined but he has just become about as automatic as it gets on friday nights and uh he certainly was in memphis uh, this past friday man i tell you what they've been uh, unbelievable and um me and a buddy of mine we actually had this conversation we're like when you, when you think about it, who would you rather face gavin williams or Trey seven <laughs> i'm like oh man that actually is a good question because you know <laughs> i have faced them both and like i'm like Man, you know, you, you know, they're both, you know, Trey, Trey, I think, you know, I believe he'll be a big leaguer one day. And, um, you know, Gavin's already up there. I'm like, man, that's a, that's a really good question. But, um, now Trey, yeah, just, you, you know, there's not really much to say. I mean, he handles his business and, um, in what's, and what's important is, uh, he's a team guy, man. He's, 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 he's always there for the team and, um, you know, and, you know, one thing that, you know, I pray for is uh, Jake Hunter. Um, yeah. So if he's okay. Um, but, um, you know, that yeah, that pitching has been great, man. It really has. Yeah, you mentioned Trey and, and how humble he is, and it made me think about it, Lane, that, that and you yourself are a very humble guy. But this, this whole team, I mean, we talked to Danny and Wyatt, and I don't know if they – because I, I I know a little bit about your parents. I know how well you were raised and and the kind of person you are. But I don't know if Cliff Godwin collectively brings in the best guys or if he kind of molds them into that and and how humble it is. But I, I think a lot of it he finds good guys to bring in. But then once they get here, and you know learn that pirate way, it's just incredible um, that you can have great guys from all over the country kind of get together and. And just uh, you know, act the way you guys do off the field. It's it's pretty remarkable. Yeah, yeah. Like you said, I think I think it's um, you know a little bit of both. You know, Coach so she's able to you know get to know you know your family and you know the person you are, and then um, he also gives you a lot of advice, just like all the other coaches do. Um, Coach P, um, AK, and you know all the other coaches there now. Um, but yeah, I think it's a little bit of both, um, of them molding you and as well as them picking out, you know, what they think is going to be, you know, good for, for the Pirates. Lane, uh, how much fun was it playing with the Florence Yalls after your ECU career? Oh man, it, it was, it was good. <laughs> good time. You know, I got to, got to travel a lot. We, we actually, we, we bust everywhere we went, <laughs> Um, so it, it was, it was pretty cool. It was a pretty cool experience. Um, you know, we played, I think all we did was play on turf field all, but one game was dirt, but, um, you know, I was able to travel to Canada and play for the first time. And that was pretty oh, cool. Wow. Um, yeah. So yeah, it was good. It was really good. So, uh, tell everybody what you're up to these days. You're, uh, you're out of baseball and in the real world. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So, um, actually I work for a, um, tool corporation back here at, 
at, you know, back in my hometown, Lincoln. Um, it's called Bosch. And then I'm also a, um, assistant coach at my former high school team. And, um, so yeah, that's what I do now. Um, you know, at home with my dog right now, <laughs> MLB network, you know, life is good. Heart radio. You know, yeah, life's good. <laughs> Working and coaching, uh, staying in the game. That, that's cool. Lane. Well, tell, uh, tell your folks, I said, hello. They were always very nice to me. And, uh, appreciate them so uh tell them i said hey um when are the hornets gonna gonna be a winner what year give me a year lane you know clip my guess is as good as yours <laughs> yeah i i, I mean <laughs> i really don't know they I, they need to build around brandon miller yeah i, I like blue mellow ball too though but um i think they need to build around brandon miller um but I gotta get my uh, Braves hot. Get gotta get them going here. Yeah. Hey, look, they uh, yeah won a uh, won a series over the Guardians over the weekend. wasn't pretty. They got down uh, in a couple of games, but they were to come back and win yesterday. So that was good. Yep. Yep. You on the uh, Canes bandwagon? You uh, watching any Hurricanes? Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Go Canes all the way. Yes, sir. <laughs> I've been, I've been, I've, as as I go on with life, I've been trying to get in hockey more and more. And as I watch games, I'm like, why haven't I watched this? You know, yeah. in my life, right? You know what I mean? They're just, it, it's exciting, and especially coming around playoff time. So yeah, good hurricane. Big Hoove, uh, and I see uh, Denny Hoover checking in with the chat, said we miss the Pirate family. We certainly miss the Hooves, but uh, we'll certainly keep in touch with you, Lane, and uh, we'll get you on again this season, talk more baseball, but keep up uh, the good work you're doing off the field, and uh, and happy for you, man. You seem happy, so uh, we'll keep in touch, Lane, and do it again down the road, buddy. Absolutely. Thank you, Clip. Thank you, buddy. There is a yes, pirate fan favorite uh, still to this day, number four, Lane Hoover, joining us on the Pirate Radio Live Line.